Hello everybody, today is uh, May the 6th, actually it's in the morning, I just woke up uh, maybe like 20 minutes ago and I thought I'm going to make this video about uh, current situation with my emergency savings account. I haven't done a video in maybe a week or so because I, I wasn't feeling too good psychologically to do the video. Um, I'm currently not employed, not uh, not like working, so I wasn't feeling too good. But right now, I thought I was going to make a video about my emergency account. If you have not subscribed to my video, uh, to my channel, please do so right now. So every time I post a video, you're going to be notified about the, vi uh, the video, so you get to watch it on the first time basis and uh, hit the notification bell button so next time i'll come up with a video you'll be the first one to see the video okay. and uh, again please subscribe to my channel and hopefully it's going to be a very very interesting channel in the weeks and months to come so here for somebody who has been following me you know that i have an emergency savings account with east boston savings bank I opened that account uh, maybe like closer to two years ago when the interest that's been offered was really high. I think his Boston Savings Bank had the highest interest in the country at the time. I mentioned that in my other videos that, that I made about his Boston Savings Bank account. And it was like two point something percent. And then uh, the interest was dropped. Like uh, the last interest that they pay, interest payment that they made was in the amount of $5.62. And uh, which is really low. But the, basically the, purchase, uh, the purpose of this video was to show you that previously my emergency um, account went down significantly. It went down from like fourteen thousand, almost fourteen or fifteen thousand dollars, to slightly under ten thousand dollars, and it was within the period of maybe one or two months, and uh, it was my emergency account because we hit the very hard times. Uh, my small business stopped functioning. I, uh, I I was laid off from my job, my part-time job as an independent contractor. And um, basically, those were the hard times. But I got my stimulus check in the amount of, as you know, $1,200. And uh, here's a part of the check. Plus, I got a few payments uh, from my... I got the paycheck for my last independent contractor job. It was also to $200 and um, th this was the last one when they cut me off so I was working like maybe a few hours there and um, a few of those deposits that I made as you can see from Chase it was the amount of $300 I made a deposit maybe one day before I made a fifth and uh, uh, the biggest direct deposit that I made was in the amount of sixteen hundred dollars, but uh, as I mentioned right now, twelve hundred of the of sixteen hundred dollars was my stimulus paycheck amount direct deposit. So the interest I got five dollars and sixty two cents, and again I made another direct deposit from the PNC bank of the amount of. Four hundred dollars at first, and in April on twenty-two, another five hundred dollars was deposited into my emergency bank account. And even in April, I, I tried to make some deposits, but once I got uh, the payments from my clients, uh, those were the last payments that they made for my small business. And this is pretty much it. I, I see that this account that I'm showing you right now is I wanted to encourage you, even though the times are very hard, those are very hard times 
for me because I even used to make a video almost every every two or three days. I used to make a video and place a video on the YouTube. But the right now, because as I mentioned, I'm not feeling too good psychologically, let me put it this way. So the videos come, come out not very often. But uh, the purpose of this video in particular, I just wanted to encourage you, even though you're, you're facing the hard times, it's still possible to save. And I will give you an update. This is the most boring emergency savings account that I have. I have another savings account. Uh, that's that's another story. There's going to be another video. I already made another video on American Express account, and I will make another video once I deposit some money there. Um, so this is uh, this is it. So I just wanted to show you. When the times are hard, you still can save, no matter what your situation is. Uh, even if you cannot put three hundred or four hundred dollars. Whatever. So put in your emergency savings accounts, start putting some money. Because you never know in life what's going to happen. What's going to happen to you. Uh, it's like I said, I, I never thought that I was going to use my emergency account. But I did. I used it multiple times. And as a result of it, my, uh, my ba balance went down significantly. And I had to replenish... Um, all money that, that I basically spent somewhere else, it is still possible to do. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, even if you can put $100, five or $400, $100, $50, $20 into emergency account, you're still going to accomplish your goal sooner or later. You know, it, it is still possible, no matter what your situation is, it's still possible to save. So thank you very much again. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so right now. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye.